What is the deal, beautiful people? My name is Ramon. This is Lifestyle Defined. Welcome to another episode of AMA. How this works, you ask your question in the comment section below and we will answer it in upcoming videos. Today's question comes from Mehdi and he asks, which one would be better between the Nexus 5X and the Moto G4 Plus? So the the Moto G4 Plus is obviously a newer device and I, I tend to lean with these sort of questions with yesteryear's flagships versus today's flagships. Uh, I oftentimes lean toward the newer stuff, uh, mainly because you get that bump in spec and for for Android in the Android world, that bump in spec is very important. Uh, the faster the processor, the more RAM you get, the better the experience. And um, yeah, that that's traditionally why I always go for the newer device. And here is an interesting uh, is an interesting lineup because I, I feel like it's not so much we're asking about uh, the spec war or the camera war even. Uh, I think the the difference between these two is literally the experience. Now, when I say experience, I, I mean the UI on the phone. I, I mean the delivery of updates. I, I mean the, the consistency of, of how the phone works. And to be honest, Motorola has been doing a really good job in the last two years with their devices. And from what I can tell, all the reviews that I've seen of the Moto, the Moto 4, the, the G4, uh, I haven't held it, or I haven't held it personally, but from what I can tell, it seems to be a, a solid device. It's got its qualms, but nothing major, uh, and it's got everything you would expect. Uh, a, a fairly decent processor. It's got the three gigs of RAM and uh, the expandable memory, and, and the camera is fine. It's got the laser focus, yada yada yada, uh, and. One thing that I really like about uh, where Motorola has been in the last the last two years is they have learned to dial it back. You know, you've got you've got companies like Samsung and, and other other OEMs who do these wild, crazy uh, themes and skins on top of Android, and it degrades the experience over time. Not only that, with the actual performance of the device, but it degrades the experience of, of getting the updates when Google releases them because. Of course, you know, the, the carrier has to finish with it. Well, actually first the OEM, so Samsung has to make sure they get it and then reskin it with all their stuff and then they push it out and then the carrier has to get it. Like it's it's way too much. So Motorola has been doing a good job of not standing in the middle. And uh, I think they've been doing it. They, they've been doing that by really just keeping their experience minimal, minimalistic and they've been making changes where it makes sense. So I, I really like what I see from them. And then of course there's the Nexus 5X, which is, uh, which was a newer version of the Nexus 5, which was a fan favorite for a very, very long time. Still a capable device, uh, the 5X. Uh, still a dope design. This one was made by LG. It's got, it's got a, a much more playful design. I would say less premium than the G4. Uh, and of course you get, you get, pure android and the the thing about the nexus 5x and any nexus is it will probably be more relevant than uh <laughs> for much longer than any other oem phone that you could possibly buy uh you know they google pushes out the updates to most nexus devices uh i think the only one that hasn't been receiving uh the the new updates recently is probably the uh, the Nexus 4, and that phone is, is really old. So I, I thought that was impressive. You know, I, I really like how Google Google uh, respects their Nexus program. And if I if I had to pick, I mean, me personally, I would go for the Nexus because I I'm quite fond. I'm actually using a 6P right now, and I'm, I'm really quite fond of the ability to just get an update every month when Google makes it live. You know, there's no garbage on my device. I, I find that the device is, the experience is, is really consistent. It's always fast, always smooth. I know what to expect from it on a day-to-day -day basis, and I, I really value that. But uh, the, the one more thing about the, the Moto that I think would make it a good contender is also the, I forgot what they call it, that Moto thing where you can get on the website and just customize the bejesus out of the phone. That's really dope. I like that a lot. But I think this is a tough comparison because uh, 
Motorola with the G4 Plus is definitely on the the lower end of the spectrum when it comes to the violators of the experience. Uh, so much so that I, I probably won't even say they violate the experience. They do a good job at adding some tweaks that Google's maybe a little behind on. And uh, if the phone is newer, it's a little faster spec. The camera is probably better. You know, the Nexus 5X was not known for its camera. So that's something to also think about. Uh, but me personally, I would still go with the Nexus. I really, really value that pure stock Android experience. That is everything to me right now uh, because it's the least amount of headaches I've had on an Android phone in years. But yeah, thank you for your question. Hopefully I answered that in a good way. Uh, you can uh, uh, leave your comment in the uh, comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you like it and subscribe. We have plenty more coming. My name is Ramon. I'm out of here. Peace.